There's a lot more I want to say, but I talk a lot on the radio, so just tune in on Monday and every other day, and I'll be talking more. I want to uh, wrap this up. One more thing real quick. Uh, do we have any World War II veterans here? Are there any World War II vets? Where are they? Over there. Sir, thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. Another one. Where is this, sir? Great, sir, thank you so much for your service. Thank you. Thank you. Any other World War II guys over here? Wave, wave, wave. Anyone? Wonderful. Gentlemen, you're the great liberators. We think that we know sacrifice. We think we know rugged individualism. We think we know hard times. <laughs> I'm thinking of my grandpa. Uh, you are our greatest generation. You are the great liberators. You are our national treasures. You are the shinest, the brightest beacons of liberty in our nation. And I have, we were worried about rain today, and God blessed us with these blue, beautiful blue skies and weeks of thunderstorms. And someone said, well, Mike, if we pack up one care package, then it's worth it. And if one troop opens one of those ups and sees a letter from our Slater Taters, then it's worth it. This is where I think it's worth it today, and that's true. The only thing I can ask of you two gentlemen tonight is to please look around this park and see all these people who have taken to the fullest advantage the opportunities that you made possible to them. Thank you. That freedom has granted them. And please look around and see the kids running around the park enjoying this beautiful day in America. And take that feeling home tonight and please let it fill over your hearts. Please let it fill up your heart. Our World War II vets are so modest. Like, ah, oh, it's no big deal. Thank you. Remember what Glenn Beck talked about, we surround them, right? We surround them, and the we was us, and the them was our politicians, and the surround was to get motivated to fight to get motivated to educate yourself and learn about our nation, we surround them. And we're not gonna let them take over our country again. That was we surround them. And I remember when Troy Mitchell passed, someone called in and said, Mike, I want you to tell the Mitchell family, we surround them. Same three words, totally different meaning. The we's the same, it's us. The them is their families. And the we's the same, it's love, but in Glenn's example, it was love of country. In this example, it's love of country and love of service and love of family. We surround them, and the surround is our open heart to our World War II veterans here tonight. We surround you. Thank you. This is such a beautiful sight. Thank you so much. And this over here, this vet with our uh, active duty members in uniform shaking his hand, passing on this torch. Uh, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, Slater Taters, don't go away without shaking these heroes' hands, please. Okay, I'm done here. I can't talk anymore. But we got one more thing we're going to do. We still opened up with Ragged Old Flag. Have you ever seen a proper flag retirement? <laughs>